hello kings and queens welcome to our last lesson for this week today we're going to be talking about behavior and attitude so before i start let me remind you that you can find this topic on my blog you can find the link on my bio attitude is how you feel about a certain person or a certain situation behavior is your reaction to that person and that situation sometimes behavior and attitude do not correlate what does that mean it means that you might feel a certain way about a situation and act in a totally different way in that particular situation. For example, you are not very particularly fond of a person, but the situation requires you to act cool. So you keep your cool and you act off friendly with that person. A lot of times, how we feel does not always reflect in the way we behave. One thing about behavior is that people mistake it for character. A character is a set of moral values that you possess as a person. It's about how honest, how trustworthy, how patient, empathetic, compassionate, kind, generous you are. Behavior is a reaction. Behavior is a matter of moment. So, someone annoys you and you say something nasty to that person, but it doesn't necessarily say something about your character. Like a person's behavior is something that manifests immediately, you know, it's a reaction. But a person's character can actually take years to manifest. Like you might actually never know what a person's character is until you have lived with that person. Instead, what influences your behavior is your emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is um, the ability to relate with other people in a way that is diplomatic and causes less harm as possible and there are five traits that make up for a person's emotional intelligence the one that will influence your behavior the most is the ability to control yourself and the ability to control your emotions if you're the kind of person who gets really emotional and who is very expressive with their emotions you will have like this very high ups and these very low downs like when you are angry you will get super angry when you are sad you get super sad when you're happy you get super happy because you don't have control over your emotions your emotions are getting a hold of you every single time so this may reflect in your behavior which is why it is important like while you are growing up to work on this aspect of your emotional intelligence the ability to control your emotion the ability to assess a situation immediately that situation is happening so do not always react immediately instead pause and seek for a better time and a better solution a case study is tacha from big brother nigeria the one that was held this year so tacha is someone who is emotional and who is very expressive with her emotions but she actually has one of the best characters in the house but because she's the kind of person that when she gets angry, she gets really angry, that sort of overshadowed all her other quality traits. Like the fact that she was really kind, she was forgiving, forgiveness is another character trait, and she didn't bear any grudge, another character trait, and she was non judgmental, that is another character trait. In Nigeria, people believe that when a person is well behaved, that the person automatically has a good character. It is not true. You will not believe this, but people with good characters tend to misbehave a lot. Yes, the more a person has a good character, the more they are going to be defiant and the more they are going to be challenging of the society. Because they are the kind of person who do not sit down and take injustice and they cannot tolerate to see injustice being meted out against other people. And people who behave well, believe it or not, usually do not have a particularly good character they might be average or even below average people who do not react particularly to situations like they can see things happening around them and they don't really do anything about it are usually what we call a part they don't really have uh, a high range of emotions and they are very stoic the term stoic comes from a greek philosophical movement and it was all about having control over your emotions and not le letting anything out. Now, what about people with bad character? Do they tend to misbehave as well? Not necessarily. 
it doesn't mean that when a person has a bad character they will misbehave they might actually be the best behaved person around so do a recap let me say this when it comes to personality there is no such thing as good or bad personality when it comes to character the character of the person will determine how the person is going to treat you either in a relationship either in a friendship either in the business or even within a family setting attitude because it's internal to the person it's not something that really comes into play unless you can read the person's mind to know how the person really feels about you or feels about a particular situation behavior it's about what you care about and what you don't what you don't care about if you're a very superficial person and you're all about appearance you might want to go for someone who doesn't misbehave if you're the kind of person who likes people with good cars and people with a good heart and stuff you might find yourself surrounded with people who misbehave a lot if you have any questions feel free to comment in the comment section or you can send me an inbox if you need any clarification because i understand that these topics are a little bit complicated and this is not something that you can explain in a 10 minutes video these are actually lectures that you spend months you know learning at the university if i cannot answer your questions i'm willing to do research just to make sure that i give you a little bit of clarity in this subject i will see you next time bye bye